Hi there, what's up everybody? I'm Nick and this time I'm going to do something a little bit different. Well, I decided that since I just started doing my masters at UHH, University of Hamburg, I would just do a quick vlog and let you guys know how my what my experience has been and how it has been different from what I did in my undergraduate studies at here in Chile. So just in case that the information is interesting or useful to anybody. So what I did is that I did my undergraduate studies at the Pontificia Universidad Católica in Chile, in Santiago. And it was a little bit awkward transitioning from the undergraduate in Chile to a master's in Germany because the studies of physics in Germany is a bit shorter than here, this year in Chile. In Germany, it's, I think, around three years or something like that. And in Chile, it's around four and a half years. So it is kind of weird because it's like we we are we have had more classes on them, but like not enough to just go straight into the PhD, even though some people do that after graduating from here. But anyway, I just decided to go for the master's in Germany because I'm ch my moving countries, there's a lot of adaption to do. And I really wanted to make sure that the, the level of my knowledge was well before I go into a PhD, if I even, even want to do one. So that's uh, my my decision making there. So now I am at UHH. We just finished the first week of classes. Fortunately, uh, since because of the pandemic, every class is being online. So I'm I'm actually studying from Chile. So there's a six hour difference between what uh, well my time right now and the time in Germany, which means that the classes that start at 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. in Germany start between 2 and 3 a.m here in Chile. So I had to wake up really early this week and I was very glad that they were actually recording every single class. So it turns out I can just watch the recordings so I can just wake up at a normal time. So I'm actually very, very happy about that. And another thing that, one thing that really struck me and so far is the main difference between classes there and here in Chile, because of course the quality of the classes is always going to depend on the teacher and just how well they teach and you know that that really doesn't have much to do with the university itself it's just about the teacher uh, but one thing that is very different and it's mostly a cultural thing i think it's different anywhere in germany than it is here in chile is that we here have a butt ton of tests like a lot i mean really a lot and uh, actually physics is one of the uh, <laughs> the the careers you can study where you have the least amount of tests, but you usually have between one a month and one every two weeks per subject in physics. Other other careers that you can study have a lot more than that. I have many people have several per week, and in Germany, what I now found out is that they have only a final exam, and that's it. And in many cases. If there are not many students, they just do an oral exam where you basically, apart from what I heard, you just have to, you know, answer some questions about the subject. And of course, you have to study for that and all that. But the fact that you don't have to be constantly be worried about tests is something that even though I've only been doing this a week is already, I just feel like it's a different uh, quality. And I mean, yeah, I think it is somewhat abusive what, it, what is done here about having so, so many tests. I do think that it's a little bit dangerous not to have any tests at all before the exam, of course, because, well, I think you can take an, a second exam if you fail the first one here, but I think it's good to be studying throughout the semester, so having some exams every now and then kind of help that, but I think the idea for now sounds really, really good. And, well, I have taken my classes already, of course. So the classes that I took, I actually wanted to mention this at the start of the of the video, but I kind of forgot, so let's see. So I took four classes and a fifth one that is uh, some sort of a Wahlbereich, it's what they call it. It's basically, you have to choose something that is not necessarily in physics. I looked at some of the, the courses that they offered and I was interested in some of the language courses, but they re required prior knowledge, so I couldn't really do that. So I end up taking astronomy and astrophysics, which is a course that was thought for people who are not studying physics. But I, I never really got into those topics 
in my undergraduate studies, so I decided it would be very nice to learn a, a bit about them and it would probably be not too much of a hard subject. I don't know, I mean, it might be, but I, I hope not. And then I took my four main courses, which are experiments on physics beyond the standard model. I took physics of the standard model, theoretical astroparticle physics and cosmology, and an introduction to string theory. So I feel I think that there's many things here that I didn't really learn in my undergraduate courses. I took relativistic quantum mechanics and quantum field theory and, and several graduate level courses in my undergraduate studies in Chile. Uh, but I really felt like in the area of particle physics, I had a teacher, I took that course in Chile, but I didn't really like the teacher too much. And I feel like I didn't learn much there, so I decided to just drop it and try again later with another teacher. And so that's why here I wanted to take this physics of the standard model and just go deep into that area. And considering that I did my undergraduate uh, bachelor thesis in medical physics, I kind of thought that maybe I was going to go either there or maybe to uh, something like solid state physics because I also ha had a lot of interest there. But just taking a look at the subjects, I kind of leaned heavily into particle and accelerated physics. So I guess I'll just see what comes next. So that has been my experience this first week, of course. There's not too much to comment yet on the subjects themselves. So far, everything's nice, but it's been mainly introduction. And if you are interested in me telling you more about any of this, just let me know and I'll be happy to make some more vlogs. So that's it for this vlog. I will see you in the next one. And by the way, just a quick comment. I'm working on the next course of lectures, which will be quantum field theory. I was going to do statistical mechanics, but I really need to go back and study some QFD for this semester. So I thought I might as well just <laughs> go ahead and uh, do the course on YouTube. So I'm probably going to leave quantum mechanics 2 and statistical mechanics for a bit later and just go straight into QFD right now because I have to study it anyways. So that's it. I will see you later.